All right, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my least favorite 4,000 footer in New Hampshire. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still a great hike. I had a fun day, and there was a great view at the top, but out of the 48, this is just the one I like to hike the least, and I was gonna hike it anyway, so might as well vlog it and just be brutally honest. And then before the hike, I share with you a couple boxes I got in the mail full of some cool gear goodies. So stay tuned and enjoy. I know I talked recently about the Karen box and I already got something in the mail from them in October and that was two weeks ago so I'm kind of surprised I already got another package from them. Huh. Okay, first thing I see is PNG Lemon Meringue Refuel. It's got electrolytes. Oh, so you just drink it. It's not like something you add to water. It's just kind of like a refuel. Drink this 15 minutes before you work out. Oh, and then from the same brand, it's a powder. Watermelon cucumber flavored. So this is the one that you put in your water. Cool. What else we got? Quick Survive. Lights any fire fast. All right, so this is a like a fire starter. Burns for up to 10 minutes over 750 degrees. Okay. And then this looks like the biggest. <gasps> I wanted one of these. Oh my god. It's a sleeping bag liner. I like, I wish I had this a couple days ago. This is so awesome. This is like the one piece of backpacking gear that I feel like I don't have that I kind of want. So when I start the Appalachian Trail, hopefully in next February, it's going to be cold and I have a 10 degree sleeping bag. But just like, I wouldn't mind carrying this up until like the end of March or at least till like I get out of the Smokies and stuff. Wow, I'm gonna open it right now. <laughs> Don't know how much it weighs. Oh, this is so nice. I hope it adds warmth. It kind of just feels like um like a bed sheet material actually. So I don't know if it does add warmth. So we got the little newspaper in the bottom, just like last time. I'm gonna read about the sleeping bag liner. So yeah, the Mountain Smith sleeping bag liner gives you that extra layer of warmth in the back country. Okay, I'm excited. And then it says that this right here is a 12 piece fire starter. Wow, I'm like really excited about this box so that's just one of my packages so this i think is the pair of pants i bought from amazon prime day i don't know how much it was cool these are nice i like how the bottoms you can tighten around your ankles i always hike in leggings in the winter but sometimes I'm just like not comfortable in leggings, so I wanted a more baggier option. And this looks like it would be um, water resistant, so if it's snowing, that would be perfect. And it like, it UV blocks. It's got pockets. It's got three pockets and like a drawstring waist. Oh, four pockets. Wow. This is great. I'm really excited about this. And last, this would be a package from Green belly. I'll show you those. I sliced it open with my knife while I was opening it, so be careful if you get this. Um, so this is like a really calorie dense meal that you can take on backpacking trips um, if you don't want to cook. So like you can get a full meal with everything you need in it without having to bring your stove or take the time to make dinner. So it's got a lot of calories and the carbs and everything to keep yourself going. This meal provides over 25% of your daily nutrition. Calories, proteins, fiber, fat, sodium, carbohydrates. And then the person who founded this company, Chris Cage, it says in 2012, he quit his job and spent the next two years hiking the AT and going in New Zealand and just hiking everywhere. So it's really cool to have like someone who has been hiking and backpacking start a company because they know what you need in the product. So I'm so excited to try these out. So there's so many flavors. Dark, dark chocolate banana, 
mango, banana, cranberry almond. This is so cool. Peanut apricot, spiced caramel apple. That's so cool. I am currently hiking up Mount Cabot. Callie is currently eating leaves. Let's stop. Um, I'm starting this a little different. I'm already 2.2 miles into the hike, but that's because the first mile was really flat and I walked it really fast as a good warm up. And then ever since then, there's been this giant stream on the side of the trail, which is really loud. And I didn't want to film next to that. Um, so the whole reason why I'm filming this hike is because I want to explain why this is my least favorite 4,000 footer. Um, I'll kind of list off the reasons later in this video, but I am doing this hike because Callie needs to do it to complete her 4,000 footer list. This is going to be number 44 out of 48. Um, she didn't come with me last time because I went straight to a work event after the hike and she couldn't come. So now I'm doing my least favorite hike for a second time. <laughs> so we're about halfway up right now and I'll just show you the trail, share with you why it's my least favorite. And yeah. And don't you worry, I definitely have a video planned in the future talking about my most favorite 4,000 footer. So definitely look for that. All right, reason number one why this is my least favorite 4,000 footer, it's location. It is the northernmost mountain out of the 4,000 footers. It takes the longest to get to from my house. The drive was about two hours and 20 minutes. And it's one of the only mountains I actually need a GPS to get to. Like I can't find it without a GPS. I really just don't like hiking out in the back country. I like towns and villages and knowing that there's a lot of people in that spot and I just kind of feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere and it just feels a little more unsafe than other hikes. It's all mental. A lot of these reasons why I don't like this mountain are mental, but that's just for me. I just don't like where it is. All right, the second reason why I don't like this 4,000 footer is I always have this fear I'm gonna have an unpleasant experience with an animal. I don't know why. I have seen a YouTube video from Chris Goes Outdoors where he had an encounter with a bear and then even driving up this road there's so many signs about moose checkpoints or something which I don't know what it means but just me being this far up north I feel like there's a greater chance I'm gonna see a moose or a bear and it's just kind of like an unsettling feeling like I feel anxious like if I'm gonna have a wildlife encounter, I feel like it's gonna be on this hike. Again, this is mental, probably not the case. I've never seen a moose or a bear on this trail, so I have no reason to say that, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. We just dipped down into a place called Bunnell Notch. We got cold and got mossy. Whew, it's kind of spooky. Mount Cabot, 1.8 miles away. It's the first time I've seen ice on a trail this season. We're now on the Kilkenny Ridge Trail, so it's opened up a little bit. See some things.
All right, Kevin gets plus one point for having this look out. It's just like a quick little spur off the trail into this view, which I think is so beautiful. That lookout was actually listed on the Gaia GPS app and it's called Bunnel Rock. So that's cool. I didn't know about that. All right, we made it to the Cabot Cabin, which is right before the summit. We don't have too much longer to go. It's a little creepy in there. Um, if you stand on the porch, you can get a little bit of a view in that direction. But I'm going to tell you the third reason why I don't like this 4,000 footer. And that's there's a gate in the parking lot. So they say the gate opens at 7 in the morning and locks at 430. And I don't know how true that is. I saw on Facebook that they started locking it at 10. It's actually like 2.30 right now. I don't know if it locks at 4.30 or at 10. I'm going to try to get back for 4.30. It'd really suck if I was locked here. But I'm going to go get the summit real quick and then probably trail run down. Um, I haven't seen a person in a while, so everyone else that hiked this trail probably planned a lot better. Um, oh well. I'm going to walk and eat this. It's a green belly meal that I got. There's a view over there. That's a trail. And there's a view over there. So, Kilkenny Range is pretty nice in some parts. Alright, this is the summit. Not much to see here. We're going to tap the summit sign. Callie did it. Number 44 out of 48. And that's how quick we're going to go back down. <laughs> we're on our way down right now. I'm hiking down in like a jogging pace. I really want to get better at trail running. So I figured downhill is an easy way to practice. And plus I want to get down there by 430 because of the risk of being locked in that wouldn't be fun so time to jog not much leaf peeping up here everything's green all right it's about 4:20. there's a chance that the gate locks in 10 minutes so i'm going pretty fast i'm getting close to the parking lot i guess now that i think of it that's probably like one of the major reasons why this is my least favorite because I can't hike it on my own time. I mean, yeah, it's my fault that it's Sunday and I slept in and I got a really late start, but oh my God, it puts a lot of pressure trying to get back to the car at a certain time. There were a ton of cars here this morning, but everyone played a lot better than I did and got out of here. At least I didn't clickbait title this video. Trapped overnight at a fish hatchery. I'm on my way out. Haven't passed the gate yet, but I'm feeling optimistic. 